the next time I'm on this camera, I'm going to show you everything. All the texts she sent and everything, yeah? So tune in. DRDIS TV in association with Block 5 Entertainment and we're back again. You know what time it is, we're out here for the Real Talk interviews. And we're a man like Peter Bailey, legendary name from the Rogues of Brixton. You know what time it was, man had the big long trench coat and the shotty, you get me? Drug dealers and the yardies didn't feel that, but he was out there. But anyway, your name's back in the headlines now, big man, for something different. Word on road is the women out there are saying you was a rapist. What are you saying to that? I ain't no rapist, man. That's all I'm saying about that. You know what I mean? I ain't no rapist. People know my works, man. Ah. Uh, so here what I'm saying, yeah, the talk is that since this allegation has come out, you've took off all your social medias since you was arrested on this charge. What do you say to that? I ain't even been on social media. I don't know nothing about that. I've never been on social media, Facebook, or any of that shit. I'm just about on WhatsApp, much less. You hear me? So that's full of shit, the lying. Has the police arrested Peter Bailey and put him in a jail cell? No. No? No. So what's the most the police have done with you? Come chat to me and tell me about it. this woman's made allegations and I just showed him my text on my, on my phone. Ah. And that was it, mate. And what are you saying? They just walked away? There's no it. handcuffs, no nothing? No nothing. Ah. So let me tell you now, obviously you've just said you've got texts from this woman. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, what was or still is your connection with the My woman in question? Is with her. Since this allegation, she has texted me a number of times on this phone. I've got all the texts and all the love and come round and all that bollocks. So that's the only connection I have with her right now. Ah. Uh, so hear what it's saying up there. Like this Effa Rose has spoke on what the women are saying. And he said that the victim and her daughter have gone through years of hiding the pain and they want Peter Bailey outed. They want the world to know what he done. What do you say to that? She's full of shit, man. I don't know what she's talking about. I, 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 I've never dealt with her too just the other day sort of thing. Yeah, they're full of shit, man. Ah. Uh, so what I'm saying to you, yeah, is saying back in the day, this is what's up there as well for everyone to listen to. Mm. It's saying back in the day, Peter Bailey was running through the Brixton community raping any woman that he felt he wanted to. What do you say to that? Yeah, man, that's bollocks, man. In back in them days, the girls were raping me. Really, they should be charged for raping me. Because I've been raped a number of times by them women out there. Give me your cock and all that bollocks, so I'll just let them get on with it. <laughs> okay. So what I'm saying to you, yeah, it's also said that in this day, no woman should be alone with Peter Bailey. It's said that Peter Bailey should not have any woman in his home on his own because he's got something that will knock him out. So I'm saying to you that in the way of people thinking, that means that you've got some sort of date rape drug that's knocking out women so you can do whatever you choose to them. What's your answer to that? Fuck you yeah. Nah, man. I, I, I just about can support my own drug habit, <laughs> let alone giving drugs to next people. You're crazy, man. <laughs> nah. Okay. So I'm going to tell you now, I have to be fair to Effa Rose when I ask you this question. She said on her life that she has checked, double-checked and triple-checked before she put it out there for the world to see what you was on. She said herself in her life that she was shocked because she knows the name Peter Bailey. She's yeah. been hearing it for years, yeah, but never but, for something like this. Yeah, but she's a journalist. Don't you think she should come to me first as well? Ah, uh, both sides. Yeah, well you say, know what you want to say yeah, before yeah, you yeah. put that out there. Before, yeah, then you can, you get it from both sides, then you can put out what you want, but at least get it from both sides. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. So I'm going to say to you, as Peter Bailey, 
ever in his life done anything to any female that she wasn't willing to do, where he no. used himself because of who he was to make her do anything. No, never, never. I wouldn't do that, man. Uh, I've got, I, I got daughters, man. God, no, no way. And anybody touch my daughters, what? <laughs> Let me not say no more, man. <laughs> So I'm going to say this to you, like you just said, you've got daughters, yeah. you've got a mother, yep. you've got aunts, sisters, whatever the females are in your family. What are they saying to you about this? Are you being treated different because of these accusations? No, 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 no. My family's cool because my family know me. They know what kind of work I was doing and what kind of work I put in. They know that ain't me, man. So I'm good. My family's good, man. Yeah. Yeah, especially my daughters. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm going to say this to you, you know that you ain't done nothing, mm -mm. but there is people out there that have done foul shit to women. Yeah, cool. What does man like Peter Bailey believe should happen to anyone who's made any woman at any time of their life do something they wasn't willing to do? Mm. Then they should get punished, man. They should get their just punishment for that. Ah. Uh. Mm. Yeah. So let me know, what was the era like back then? You was a man whose name was well known. It's put out there now that back in that era, all the bad men were just taking what they wanted from women, no, raping right. them, no. making them perform sexual acts, doing whatever they felt. Is that no. what you bad men were no, on? We weren't like that, man. Nah? Like that. Nah. If anything, you know, the girls like bad boys. Yeah. Back in the days, if you weren't a bad boy, you weren't saying nothing. You weren't getting no girls or nothing. Yeah. So they appreciated bad boy, and you know, that's how it was. Throw themselves at bad boys with it back in them days. Ah. Uh, so I'm gonna say this to you: What do you yourself personally think of Effa Rose's journey? Because let's be real, she's shown strength. She's shown courage because she's gone up against no, a has, lot of people. And I, and I commend her. Funny enough, I commend her on it, and 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 and, and, and I appreciate what she's doing. Because as you said, I, I've got women in my family as well. So, but uh, she's got to get her facts straight, man. Yeah. Get her facts from both sides. As I said before, she's got to get them from both sides before she put this out on, what is this, social media or whatever this shit is, before she does that. Yeah. You hear me? Because uh, a lot of people, you know, a little bit upset with her. Ah. Uh, you know, spitting up the community and, you know. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. All right, let me say this to you. People are walking with her. People have done an uprising because of the words coming from this woman. Mm -hmm. So they're saying any man who has never done anything fuckeries to a woman mm. should be walking with FRO side by side to bring out the firm in yeah. the have. Yeah, what do you say to that? Yeah, I think this is right, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So here what I'm saying to you. There's a lot of women out there that have suffered through the hands of men. They might not even be bad men. They're just men that were fuckeries. Mm -hmm. Them women have suffered in years in silence. Mm -hmm. They've had things done to them they wasn't willing to be done. Mm -hmm. I'll ask you, if you had any message for them women, what would Peter Bailey say to them? Just, just, just keep strong, man. And, uh, and anything happen, talk. Talk and tell people what's happening. Yeah. And don't keep it to yourself. Uh, That's all I can say, really, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say to you now, there's a lot of people out here that they don't listen to the full facts. No, they don't. They jump on a bandwagon. Yeah. They want to listen to one side. They yeah. want to jump up and start talking Bailey this, Bailey that. Four weeks ago, they loved Bailey. Yeah. Now they're talking like you're a rapist. What do you say to these sort of people that don't get the facts and just jump on the wagon? No, 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 no. They're fucking stupid, man. I just don't know how you can't research it. Research, man. Research before you start making those accusations. You get me? Ah. Uh, so what I'm saying now, big up man like Bailey for coming through and doing this interview, giving his real side of the story to show, listen, everyone's got a voice, you get me? Mm. If you're gonna talk about me, come and see me and tell me and I'll love you the truth. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, big up for anyone walking with me. DRD's TV, soon back, one.